breast milk science. It's a thing, and it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet, breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania, using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list, like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. We know her as Crooked Hillary, but to Nikki Haley, Hillary Clinton is her personal role model, the reason she ran for office. Here's Nikki in her own words. I often say that the reason I got into politics was because of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is actually the reason, she is actually the reason that I made the jump. (laughs) So Haley raised taxes like Hillary, backs open borders and unlimited work visas like Hillary, did favors for Chinese companies like Hillary. Now the globalist Wall Street bankers who financed Hillary's campaigns are funding Haley's campaign. No wonder the liberal CEO of Wall Street's biggest bank says, If you're a very liberal Democrat, I urge you, you know, help Nikki Haley too. And just like Hillary Clinton, Nikki Haley shouldn't be president because she's wrong for America. Learn more at therealnikki.com. Paid for by Fight Writing, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Fight Writing is responsible for the content of this ad. Fight-right.org. WSHIT now continues its live coverage of the Crabapple Township City Council meeting. Currently in session, they are now accepting comments from the public. Let's go live to City Hall. You guys work for us in in, in this uh, environment. You answer to us, and I'm asking that you do not pass this policy in Virginia. Thank you so much, Ms. Thomas. We do appreciate you. Phil McCracken. Phil McCracken, Suk Mahidik, Ophelia McHawk, Ophelia McHawk, Eileen Dover, Eileen Dover, Don Kiddick, Don Kiddick, Wayne Kerr, Wayne Kerr. That's unfortunate. I really wanted to hear what Suk My Dick had to say. We'll be back after this commercial break. Suk My Dick. Hi, Brian and Chrissy. Uh, my name is Mary, and I just want to say I'm a huge fan of your show, and I'm so thrilled that you've reached 100 episodes. Congratulations. Best to you. On this episode of the commercial break, what I found was the Twenty One Jump Street. Oh my gosh, channel. that's a blast from the past! I will Johnny t- Depp uh, as a high schooler. As a, <laughs> 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 just as weird of a premise as it would have sounded back then. And here's the truth: it did not age well. It does it not age well. It is sexist, racist, homophobic, and just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> honestly, first of all, nobody in that show looks like they should be in high school. No right. one. They're all way too old to be in high school. Mm-hmm. Additionally, they are busting people for the most ridiculous of things. <laughs> and the cop work is not really solid cop work, if I'm being honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> okay, your turn. Sex, relationships, entertainment, food. Well, we have sex, relationships, and enter- uh, entertainment. And entertainment. Mm-hmm. You're going to stay away from food. Well, we just did entertainment. There's, so yeah, sex, relationships, or, or relationships. general. Relationships. Relationships. Mm-hmm. Uh, blind dates. Blind dates. So overrated, underrated, or average. Have you ever blind, been on a blind date? Yeah, and I didn't like it. I've been on some dates where I wish I was so, blind. Right. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. 
I re- yeah, I uh, it's been going on for so long. It's been going on for so long. <laughs> for generations and generations. People have been giving each other head. <laughs> Today, this documentary takes a look at head through the ages. <laughs> oral sex. Yeah. Oral sex and oral history. <laughs> the next episode of the commercial break starts now. It's another episode of the commercial break. Wee! Wee! Episode 101. Wow. We made it to 100. I know. We're in the hundreds. In the hundred club. When do the when does Spotify come knocking? <laughs> Soon. Yeah. He'll What's be here Rogan any day. on? What's Rogan on? He's in the thousands, I think. Yeah. I think Rogan's in the thousands. I think he's been doing this for a long time. He does five days a week, sometimes wow. four hours a fucking day. That's got a that's a schedule that I could not maintain. Well, when you're getting paid that amount of money, this then... is true. <laughs> yeah. I do it. Five you mean those week. those four dollar checks we're cashing from the ad <laughs> network don't count? Come on, Holdley, get with it, get it together. Welcome to the commercial break. I'm Brian Green. This is Kristen Holdley, and Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. Let's try that again. I'm Brian Green. You're Kristen Holdley, and <laughs> Happy Holidays. Holidays. Best to you, Kristen. Best to you, Brian. Best to you out there in the podcast universe. Thanks for joining us for yet another edition of the commercial break 101. So here we are. We celebrated the big 100. Yes. I felt like it. It went well. I I, it I got did. A gr- it was I got great reactions from everybody. Yeah. I, uh, I'll tell you what I was doing last night while I was editing the 100th episode. I was watching 21 Jump Street. Oh, my god! You know how my TV here t- comes in 1,462 one channels yes, of <laughs> like, uh, antenna TV? Basically, each show ever has their own channel. At every show that you can think of has its own channel. Right. So they have like Laguna Beach channel. They have the Hills channel. Yes. What I found was the 21 Jump Street Oh, my gosh. Channel. That's a blast from the past. I will Johnny t- Depp uh, as a high schooler. As a- <laughs> 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 Just as weird of a premise as it would have sounded back then. And here's the truth. It did not age well. It does it not <laughs> age well. It is sexist, racist, homophobic, and just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> honestly, first of all, nobody in that show looks like they should be in high school. No right. one. They're all way too old to be in high school. Mm-hmm. Additionally, they are busting people for the most ridiculous of things. <laughs> and the cop work is not really solid cop work, if I'm being honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, here's the premise. You can imagine the pitch meeting, right? Here's what we got. We got an idea for a television show. It's six guys and girls that are in their 30s, but they pretend like they're teenagers and they go to actual school and they bust kids doing drugs. Drugs and gambling <laughs> and sex. We're going to bust them with sex. Oh, it's like one long uh, PSA commercial that's right. really bad. I mean, it's just like awful. So when you go to, with the, I watched the first episode of 21 Jump Street. Oh, it was the very first. It's a two-parter, right? It's two-parter because, oh. of course, the storyline. They came out with two parts. <laughs> I think it could have been 20 minutes and gotten everything in. But Johnny Depp's father died and now he's, he wants to avenge his death and blah, 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 yada, yada. Who gives a shit? Right. And so what it is is 21 Jump Street is the name of the street upon which the old church is where they have their secret hideout. Right. Oh. Like their hero layer, like the Batman that. cave for the overgrown <laughs> teenagers, <laughs> for the extra hairy teenagers that are busting everybody. And they have a captain and that captain his whole the whole shtick is he's an old hippie. He's like an old <laughs> he's an old deadhead. It's so stupid. So they're sitting around their meeting, right? Johnny Depp, at first, plays a conservative. He's a Republican teenager. You know, because really? teenagers He's back like then are Republican. made that distinction? I have no... <laughs> obviously not as polarized of a time as, as right. it was then, right? So they're sitting around for their morning pitch meeting. Hey, I'm going to, you know, this, I'm going to well, bust Alex this kid. Well, Keaton was a Republican, so maybe it was And he was an extraordinarily <laughs> popular character, yeah, right? So. But it was a different time. It was a different time, different place. Yeah. So they're sitting around, and they're having their pitch meeting, and and the the captain who's like, hey, what's up, dudes? You know, Johnny Depp is this straight laced <laughs> Republican, and he's like, at seven oh five in the morning, I witnessed, you know, a uh, suspect, blah blah blah, da da da. He's like, hey man, chill out, brother, meditate. <laughs> That's what he says. <laughs> he said meditate, and everyone around the table is like, huh? <laughs> like they're all like, as if meditation back then was so antithetical to common sense that right. the plot, the actual. The actual joke, the punchline, was, was meditation. meditation. That was a punchline, okay. right? <laughs> Did you hear Captain say meditate? <laughs> as That's if, snake bro. oil medicine. <laughs> as if, bro. <laughs> they start fights and rant. It's just the worst show. Anyway, I'll be watching it later on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't stop looking at a train wreck. 
<laughs> That's it. Laguna Beach held up better than 21 Jump Street. Oh, yeah, Who for sure. knew? www.tcbpodcast.com is where you go. You find out more about Christy and I. Read all the show notes, listen to all the audio, and watch all the video. You can also connect with us on Instagram and YouTube right from the website. Why go elsewhere? <laughs> Why go to whatever else Google comes up with? Go to tcbpodcast.com. And if you're so inclined, follow us on Instagram at The Commercial Break. It's TV minus. It's TCTV minus. minus. All your favorite shows <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> All your all the great content not here, right? <laughs> yeah, not with our, us. That's our pitch. <laughs> uh, and I want to let you know that at six six one best to you, that's six six one B E S T, the number two, and Y O U. You can text us or leave us a message. And a lot of people did that for our hundredth uh, episode. They said congratulations yes. and happy. I I tried to plug so as, nice of everyone. It was. I tried to plug Aww. as many of them into the show as I could. Uh, that episode was released today. If you if you'd like to go and listen to it at your favorite podcast. Program. Provider, Please join us on Fireside, live on Fireside. We're live right now on Fireside. Join us on Fireside. All you have to do is download Fireside Chat in the App Store, only available for Apple phones right now, but I know they're working on Android. And don't forget, Chrissy and I are going to, we have been asked as the special guests of honor yes. at Menfo. We didn't make it to the lineup sheet. I don't know what's right. up with that, Jeff. We're not on the poster. <laughs> I thought, I thought it was in our rider. Do we have a, are we going to get like champagne and yeah, only green fruit M&Ms. and shit like that? Yeah, mm, absolutely. Sure. I don't want anybody to look me in as the eye. As long as we bring it. I don't yeah. want anybody to look me in the <laughs> eye, mainly because I'm too hungover. <laughs> uh, so we're going to be at Menfo 2021 in Memphis, October 1st through the 3rd. Tickets still available at menfofest.com. Uh, widespread Panic, A Vet Brothers, Billy Strings, mm-hmm. Lucinda Williams. Black Pumas. The Black Bengal Pumas. Love Black Pumas, yeah. man. They're so good. Yeah. Anyway, everyone. Everyone's going to be there, and so will the commercial break, the one and only podcast available at Menfo yes. Fest. So, for the official podcast yeah. of Menfo, <laughs> come on down, get some free swag, say hello, and yeah. join us for a recording of the show. Hey, everybody! I want to thank DBS Alliance for coming on board as a new sponsor for the commercial break. If you've listened to the commercial break for any period of time, then you know I am unabashed about telling stories regarding my life. One of the things I've mentioned in the past is that my mother has struggled with mental illness her entire adult life. It led to some tough times in my household when I was a teenager, and I certainly wish it had been less stigmatized then than it is now. It's 2021, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, because one in five American adults may have mental illness. That's about 21 million of us. You shouldn't be ashamed to reach out and ask for help. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States in all age groups, and it can be prevented. Speaking up and asking for help does prevent suicides. And DBS is providing free support groups, wellness tools, and inspirational stories to guide you on your path to holistic mental health wellness. This is what you can do. You can go to dbsalliance.org slash suicide dash prevention. That's dbsalliance.org slash suicide dash prevention to learn more about how you can start conversations about mental health and suicide awareness in your community. This is an important conversation and it always has been. And when speaking up and reaching out for help saves lives, it's important to do so. dbsalliance.org slash suicide dash prevention. We want to thank DBS Alliance for coming on board as a sponsor and giving these free tools as an important conversation starter. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12 1 2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. We know her as Crooked Hillary, but to Nikki Haley, 
Hillary Clinton is her personal role model, the reason she ran for office. Here's Nikki in her own words. I often say that the reason I got into politics was because of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is actually the reason, she is actually the reason that I made the jump. <laughs> so Haley raised taxes like Hillary, backs open borders and unlimited work visas like Hillary, did favors for Chinese companies like Hillary. Now the globalist Wall Street bankers who financed Hillary's campaigns are funding Haley's campaign. No wonder the liberal CEO of Wall Street's biggest bank says, If you're a very liberal Democrat, I urge you, you know, help Nikki Haley too. And just like Hillary Clinton, Nikki Haley shouldn't be president because she's wrong for America. Learn more at therealnikki.com. Paid for by Fight Writing, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Fight Writing is responsible for the content of this ad. Fight-right.org. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. So I was reading last night in, uh, you know, as I get older, I, I take more. Read. <laughs> as I get older, I read less. How many books do you think you've finished as an adult? Oh, tons. Oh, you're a good reader. I love you read reading. all the time. Yeah, I, I finished have... two in like the past week. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an indication I that you don't, don't have, have children. children. Yeah, yes, exactly. I don't have small children. I start so many books that I never finish and I look at them and I just feel so unaccomplished. <laughs> yeah, right. it, it really beats it's up like my self-esteem. Yeah. I feel so guilty. Uh-huh. Like. How, Brian, how did you get this old and you have yet to finish any of these books that sit in front of you? And some of them are really good, <laughs> yeah. right? Anyway, whatever. So last night I uh, picked up the, my reading of, of choice is usually the online news rags, right? Or some kind of information or something about black holes that I don't anything, understand anything about. <laughs> right. um, so last night I was reading a news story that the FTC has now is now getting involved with the following. Where's my, where did my megaphone go? Oh, here it is. It's right yes. behind me. Okay, ready? Yeah. This is what you get. I want you to imagine yourself pulling up to McDonald's. Welcome to McDonald's. How can I ruin your day? Uh, yes, I'd like to get uh, two McFlurries and an ice cream cone, please. Sorry, that doesn't work today. I'm going to pull out. And, uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry, we don't have ice cream today? We didn't have ice cream yesterday. You said it was going to be available today. I'm sorry, the ice cream machine is broken. We're cleaning it currently. It's not available. Please pull around. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Every time you go into a McDonald's, they don't have their ice cream machine. They never have their ice cream machine available. Now, I don't eat ice cream from McDonald's a lot, but I have noticed that this is a problem that is all over the Internet. People complain about it all the time. Facebook, Instagram, people complain. It's like a running joke that if you pull up to a drive through at McDonald's for ice cream or a McFlurry, Uh you won't get it, right? You can hear my daughter in the background yelling and screaming over the fact that there's no McDonald's ice cream. That's right. She wants it. So, (laughs) Mia! (laughs) She's like, Daddy! Uh, So, this has happened so frequently. Mm-hmm. That now the FTC is getting involved. The, FTC? the, the Federal Trade Commission really? is doing an investigation on the McDonald's ice cream machines. They're saying they're saying themselves, this your ice cream machines can't be this fucking broken all this fucking time. Really? I mean, it's just like impossible, right? <laughs> So this little this little joke or this little thing that's been happening has all of a sudden gotten the I mean, clearly there are not more important things going on in our no. society than the yeah. FTC. You know, I, well, anyway, I'm just, I won't, why don't you investigate like random human beings making altcoin and pumping and dumping them? Right. Like, why don't you do that? You're investigating fucking McDonald's and mach- ice cream machines. Anyway, it's a problem. They're investigating it. Mm-hmm. And so it got me thinking. I'm like, but, you know, is McDonald's ice cream really that better, like that much better? than anybody else's ice cream out there. No. You know, there is ice cream that's, Tons. in my opinion, and better. I'm not like a huge ice cream connoisseur, right. but there is ice cream that is better Absolutely. than McDonald's. And a like, fucking flurry is just like a sugar shake. Like, yeah. you know, do you really need that? Probably not. 
I started to wonder, what are some other things in, in life that other people say are so wonderful, but we feel like it's overrated mm. or it's underrated, or maybe we feel like, yeah, the hype is deserving of it, right? Yeah. One way or the other, either the, the haters out there are right or the hype there is right. So I decided let's put together not a game per se, but a little conversation starter okay. called Over Under Average. Okay, I like it. What is overrated? What is underrated? And what is spot on? What uh-huh. is average? Like it's it's equal. Yeah, you're yeah. right about that. Okay, mm-hmm. here's how it goes. I came up with five categories. I hope I can count right. Is it five categories? <laughs> let's count with our fingers. Ready? <laughs> Carry the one plus two. Sex, relationships, entertainment, food. And the general category, okay, that is life five. category. Okay, that's five. I'm good. I'm looking at uh, this. Yeah, it's yeah. Friday afternoon and I'm doing well. I'm hitting on all cylinders, You're Chrissy. Fire in a way. Look at that. We're not. We don't have any complicated <laughs> phone calls to make. We're just. I feel like we're doing good on this yes. particular fireside. It's really working. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. What do you, so you want to just you want to go random style on the categories, or do you want me to go one category at a time? Yeah. No. Let's go random style. That's gonna like that's the... gonna require that I keep track of shit. Okay. <laughs> well, you have a pen in your. Now hand. we're throwing in X factors. <laughs> When you when you fly planes, you have a pen in your hand, so just I make d- a check. I always have a pen when in my you- hand, though. Half the time it doesn't work, because <laughs> I'd rather have a cigarette. But since I stopped smoking ten years ago, okay. Uh, it's when you're a pl- pilot, they warn you about something called task loading. Do you know what a task load is? No. You can pretty much guess. Is that when you're Overloading a pilot, tasks. You, you don't want to be doing too many tasks at one time because if an emergency comes, then you get task loaded and then all of a sudden your brain doesn't start to work the same way. You're oh, not paying wow. attention to the emergency. Now you're paying attention to tasks, mm-hmm. right? So now you're task loading me and now I'm having problems. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry, pilot. Brian. <laughs> pilot Pete, as my wife would say. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Here we go. Yes. All right, I'm going to go one category at a time. Which category would you like first? Uh, I know my crickets are playing in the background. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant to do that. (laughs) Uh, Okay, Uh, sex, relationships, entertainment, life, food. All right. Go. Let's go food. Okay, we're going to go food. We were just talking about McDonald's. Overrated, underrated, or spot on. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Hot sauce. Oh, I mean, it's spot, spot on. on. Yeah, I love yeah. hot sauce. I mean, I love hot sauce too. Yeah. What's your favorite hot sauce? Uh, probably sriracha. Generally, sriracha. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like a few specialty mm-hmm. ones. I'll pick up. I'll pick up one whenever I go to like Memphis or different cities. So and... I told someone the other day that I've been to a hot sauce shop, and they said there's no such thing as a hot sauce shop. Was I, that you? I that think said that? it was. There's hot sauce shops all over the place. Okay, I clearly there's hot sauce one. shops. <laughs> what? Why sriracha? I just love the flavor of it. Do you really? It, I love the flavor and then the heat. I like a, like a good like uh, Texas hot sauce or a Tabasco. Okay, something that can completely kill the flavor of <laughs> tasteless food, <laughs> food that you don't like. I like to enhance. You know what I do? You know what I do around here, Hoadley? I just put hot sauce on everything. That way, if a, if a plate ever slides in front of my face that I don't like, I'm just like, it just tastes like Texas Pete to me. <laughs> Texas Pete is good. Texas Pete is yeah, great stuff. It's like ketchup, right? Uh-huh. You know, people put ketchup on everything. Oh, yeah. And they go, oh, I'll take, I eat ketchup with my steak, you know, but it doesn't, it just doesn't taste like anything to me. It just enhances the flavor of the steak. No, it doesn't. It tastes like fucking ketchup. Don't lie. Come on. <laughs> that might be left over from like bad cooks, you know, growing oh, yeah, up bad maybe chef. or something. Yeah, you know, because, because yeah. I'm not the one who cooks because I can't even make ramen noodles. Mm-hmm. I don't ever want to offend anybody's cooking around here. So yeah. I'm like, well, if well, I just keep drowning in, cook. oh, she's a wonderful cook. Yes. Oh Everybody my God, those empanadas. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <That's- laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let me pick one. Why don't we go with uh, let's go with entertainment? Okay. Okay, and entertain Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm, I think it's overrated. So fucking overrated. It's yeah. some of the worst movie making in history. <laughs> I just got to say this. And how do I know this? Because three years in a row, Astrid dragged me to Fifty Shades of Grey on fucking Valentine's Day, <laughs> where I was the only human being that had a penis inside the entirety of the theater. Well, not the only one, but I was the maybe only she was one. Trying who, to say something. Oh my god, maybe she was trying to say something, <laughs> but I couldn't hear what she was saying because I was laughing too hard. That in one moment there was an there was a hell helicopter crash that clearly no human could survive and the next moment christian gray is walking through the door from said helicopter with a band-aid on his nose and i'm like what happened 
<laughs> what happened? They don't show the carnage, the wreckage, the hospital stay. No, he just walks through the door with his bad, bad acting and says, I, I realized in the, car, in the helicopter crash how much I do love you. <laughs> Would you like to kiss now? <laughs> so bad. No amount of nudity can make that movie good. Mm. I'm just saying. That's all I got to say. Even though they did pick two incredibly beautiful, beautiful people, people to be yes, in that movie. Absolutely. I do have to say that. I'll, <laughs> I'll give them that. I'll give them that. Beautiful people. Okay, your turn. Sex, relationships, entertainment, food. Well, we have sex, relationships, and enter, uh, entertainment. And entertainment. Mm -hmm. You're going to stay away from food. Well, we just did entertainment. Just, so oh, sex, relationships, or, or relationships. general. Relationships. Relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, blind dates. Blind dates. So overrated, underrated, or average. Have you ever been on a blind date? Yeah, and I didn't like it. I've been on some dates where I wish I was so, blind. Right. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. So I don't know. I mean, who's rating it? What are we going against here? Well, like, you know, who's saying it's great. I know. I don't think that? anybody's saying the blind okay. dates are great. I don't think that anybody says blind dates are great. Okay, I think most people say that, so like, I hate blind dates. I hate blind dates, right? too. Yeah. yeah. So, but so when, I I'm, I'm, when I say overrated, I don't mean in the always in the positive sense. It can be in the negative sense, too, right? Yeah. But which is what they're saying is, like, is it over? Is it overhyped negatively? Or is it, you know, is yeah. it just not that bad? Yeah. I mean, maybe average, yeah, I guess. I think it's, uh, yeah. Some people like it. I've only been on three <laughs> blind dates in my entire life. They all came from the wonderful world of Tinder. And uh, one, I had to fish out of a tree. <laughs> the fire That's department right. had to come get out of a tree. <laughs> That's right. Uh, excuse me, security guard, can you call the fire department? <laughs> There's a cat in the tree. No, her name is Cat. She's in the tree. I need you to take her down out of the tree. True story. Wasn't the, it like at the mall too or something at Phipps Plaza? Uh, no, no, no. This was uh, right near your house, at a bar uh, near your house. Oh, and she okay. climbed up one of the oak, like the young oak trees. She climbed up it. A young oak. A young oak. <laughs> <laughs> ah, those young oak. There's... <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what they're getting themselves they're into. They're irresistible to climb. <laughs> or apparently I was resistible because <laughs> she, was she scrambled <laughs> right to the tree. <laughs> and then no shit had to call the fire department to get her out of the tree. And then I and then put her in a cab home with the address, right? That's <laughs> like, pretty here you wild. go, go wherever she's going. That was wild. And then the two other ones were just disasters too. So I think it's right on. I actually think yeah, the blind dates are pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, though I do have one friend that loved blind dates, but he uh, commitment was not even a word he could spell. I mean, it was I mean, just, just like, like going yeah. round robin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guess who? Okay. Uh, my turn. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go into the sex category. Okay, go Body for hair. It. Okay. Body hair. Yeah. Are Overrated, you, when underrated. You, when you go average. for it, are you answering first? <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there for conversation. I'm picking and then I say. We've been doing this show picking. for 100 episodes. You, can't, you didn't get the flow down yet? What did you say? What was the, the sex? Uh, body hair. Body hair. Body hair. I like body hair. I like body hair. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that body hair is, like uh, is underrated. A good chest. You like a good chest? Yeah. You'd love this one. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick said, my brother was, we were having a birthday dinner the other night, and Patrick said something about his chest hair, right? And mm -hmm. he goes, I'm a big, I'm a big burly bear, right? Referring to the, to the gay nomenclature, a bear. Right. Right. And I, then we started talking about gray hairs because my twin brother and I are getting old. And so Kevin says, do you have any gray hairs? And I said, I, I might have one or two in my beard, yeah. but it's covered up. He said, you, you don't have any like gray chest hair. And Patrick uh -huh. responded that, oh, all my chest hair is turning gray. <laughs> and I said, you're now a polar bear, Pat. Look at that. <laughs> He goes, is that a thing? Should be. It's a polar bear. I say body hair is underrated. Mm -hmm. I think we need more body too. hair yeah. in our in our intimate. Yeah, uh, nobody needs in our to bedrooms. be bald everywhere. No, <laughs> I think it's just creepy. If I'm just being honest, I, I get a little creeped out by it. Yeah. I know it's some people's preference. Yes, and and I'm not saying that everyone who has a preference is creepy. Yeah, I'm just saying for own. me, right. it feels a little creepy. Right, right. So uh, that's so we're gonna leave it at yeah. that. We are on fireside. We'll say body hair. Is uh, underrated. underrated. Okay, yeah. you have. Oh, there's only one category left, and that is life. Life is that the general category? That's the general category. Okay. <laughs> then I choose life. <laughs> I choose. No, 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 no. Let's not go there. I don't want any political conversation. Yeah, no, on this no, show. no. I just meant okay. I choose the oh, category God, I got, I got of it. life. Okay, there you go. Yes. Mm. Austin, Texas. Hmm. Overrated, underrated, on point. I think it's pretty on point. You think so? I love Austin. I'm going to say that I think Austin is a little bit overrated. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, it's like, a little hype. I don't think it's a totally hyped, but I think any time that everyone says that, you know, 
I don't know. I, I think anytime everybody gets so on the cool. bandwagon, yeah, yeah, it's just like. But it is so cool to me. But that's it's me. a very cool city. Don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. But I think there are other cities that I would rather visit before Austin, Texas. Okay. I love Austin. I'd put it in my top five. Yeah. But have you I'd... been to Austin? Yes, I have. Okay. Well, yes. then, yeah, you probably want to go somewhere 1982. new. 1982. <laughs> I was a trucker <laughs> on the road. <laughs> I stopped there one time for gasoline. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was on the I-10 traveling to the I-4. I said, hey, Roger, Roger, big doggy. I'll meet you in Austin, Texas. <laughs> yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. yip. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming through loud and clear, big doggy. I have been to Austin, Texas. I like it a lot. I've seen yeah. a lot. I've saw I saw some like, music there. Yeah. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. Grandmother and aunts and uncles out there. Yeah. I think it's overrated because of Chip and Joanna. That's my personal opinion. Oh, but... Chip and Joanna. Oh, Chip and They're Joanna. They're overrated. They're overrated. They I should have really put them are. down. They are. They've got like well, a whole empire going now. Well, I mean, I don't think that means overrated. I just think that means successful. Well. Listen, is it but my thing? What I do? I want to sit around and watch Chip and Joanna all day. No, much. I don't. It's kind of too much. Chip's a little over the top for me. He like is. he was at first, it was funny. It was cute. Yeah, it, it was, was funny, and right. the relationship was back and forth. <laughs> you know, it was like they, you yeah. know, they were doing a, I don't know, some kind of you know, straight man and jokey routine. Right. But now it's clear that half those jokes are written. Yes, it's of course. Take three, you know, mm-hmm. and he takes it too far. And then there's a stunt every time. And then, yep. oh, I didn't know the wall was going to come trashing down. <laughs> It's demo day. <laughs> demo day. Demo <yeah>. day. <laughs> That's like that like one. A good demo. Remember that cake guy? The cake guy who got his hand cut off. What's his name? Oh. Uh, the cake boss. Oh, cake boss. Really? Yeah. Oh no, I'm not talking about the cake boss. I'm talking about the other guy. Uh, oh, can you Emerald. The Emerald Lagasse. Remember? Bam! Bam! Yeah, bam, yeah, bam! 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 Yeah. Remember how obnoxious that was? Mm-hmm. Remember after like two seconds, you were like, "Okay, enough of that bam yes, shit." Yes. We saw where that bam shit took him. It took him straight into the. I mean, do you even see Emerald Gossi anymore? Nah, maybe in like a commercial, like Indeed, a late night, yeah, like infomercial. a late night infomercial. Yeah. You my air restaurant. fryers is never. Gonna, my air fryers <laughs> gonna ensure that you never eat healthy food again. Bam! <laughs> Diabetes. Bam! Heart attack. Bam! <laughs> High sodium levels. Bam! <laughs> Trip to the ER. Bam, bam. <laughs> I went to one of his restaurants in New Orleans. Another time. martini. Bam. <laughs> I went to one of his restaurants and I saw him. Yeah. I met oh, the guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did it was a bam? five martini lunch for <laughs> bam. Right. bam, bam, bam. Uh, he was a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. He was a very nice guy. Very nice. Does he still Did he that? say bam to you? He d- listen. <laughs> All, everybody who's got a catchphrase, mm. like the guy from Good Times, I want a catchphrase. you know, Dino my, yeah. you know, or what you talking about, Willis, right? All those guys who have a catchphrase, every single one of them, yeah. regrets the day that they ever <laughs> That's true. said that fucking catchphrase. That because now true. everywhere they go, everything that they do revolves around that damn catchphrase. Yeah. And they just want to be treated like a human being. And they're like, hey, can you say Dino my? I saw that guy on a, on a, on a commercial for an accident injury attorney yes right? i think i did too did you see this yes it was I did. The, i'll have to get this and i'm gonna play it it was yeah. the world this guy looked like he was being held hostage by somebody he looked like he was just like the, he did yeah. it was forced and he was like if i get into an accident <laughs> <die, laughs> oh <my." laughs> yeah. it was reverse mortgage that's what it was well, you can if fall back on it. If I need some extra it. cash, Dino, oh my. I guess I you can, can always fall back on it. I guess you can. Yeah. And maybe. Best to you on that. Best to you on that. Oh, <laughs> shit. No more best to yous. We're off of it immediately. We're about to put that shit on t-shirts. <laughs> okay. Uh, your turn. Sex, relationships, entertain. Oh, no. It's my turn. Sex, relationships, entertainment, food, or general, also known as life. Let me okay. go with. I'll go with entertainment. Okay. And I'll say uh, the Bachelor series. Oh, uh, I mean, I know everybody loves this show, but I'm going to have to say overrated. Way overrated. <laughs> to me, it's comic relief. I mean, I think it's quite funny, but yeah. I, every every single season mm-hmm. is the exact same. It fucking really thing. is. It it's really It's so is. scripted. Yeah. It's so rehearsed. It, but it's also so addictive that if you watch, that this is the key: is not to watch. The first episode, <laughs> because then you want to know what happens. Oh, yeah, or at yeah, least yeah. I do. And then you're in it. But I, if it's, you just don't watch and you don't miss it either. It's like a hurricane around here. <laughs> it comes. We, everyone gets Astrid ready. Loves it. We batten down the hatches. <laughs> then someone turns on the fucking bachelor. And uh-huh. then we're, everyone's watching it. I'm yeah. making fun of it. Astrid's telling me to shut up. <laughs> Astrid falls in love with three to four Bachelor or Bachelor right. ads every single time. Uh-huh. I'm laughing hysterically at the fact that they're having the same conversation over and over again. Night one, 
I'm so glad I had this opportunity to get you alone because I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but when, when I was two years old, I was in a tragic orphan fire. And <laughs> at four years old, I actually fell out of a plane and lost all of, uh, I lost mm-hmm. my legs and then they surgically reattached them. Yeah. And so I've, I've had a lot of adversity right? and I needed you to know that from my heart and I'm here for all the right reasons. <laughs> and I'm not the guy who's coming on here to be a famous television star. I'm after your heart. That's right. And I just want love. you to know that I'm so glad we had this opportunity to spend 15 <laughs> minutes together. Would you mind if we made out for a few minutes <laughs> until the next guy comes knocking at yes, the door? <laughs> yes. Uh, my favorite is when they interrupt other, like a, a few episodes in, and then they interrupt oh, yeah, yeah. other people yeah, to yeah. say, excuse me, okay, can I pull ready? him away yeah, from, be, uh, can, I, can I pull her I'll be the guy. him I just away. wanted you to know that all the drama that's going on in the house, I don't agree with yeah. that. I, I haven't been a part of it. <laughs> it wasn't me. And uh, I know you'll inevitably choose the guys who started the drama, but uh, me as the guy who's on has, is the first time I've been on camera. I just wanted you to know how sincere I am, yeah. and the fact that I lost both my uncles at a very young age, and <laughs> it's just been really hard. It's been really hard for me. Yeah. Now you come in and interrupt me. Uh-huh. It's been uh, really hard on me. Excuse me. Yes? Can I uh, take oh, her man. away from you? Oh man! Yeah. Cut to the single <laughs> shot, right? Yeah. This is the first time I've had an opportunity to talk to And then there's Angel. drama about, yeah. yeah. The first time I've had to talk and if, to Angel. And if Jason comes in one more time and steals our time, he's got to remember there's other people here that are after her heart. <laughs> oh, so true. And then in comes the shithead host, you know. Julie, there's one more rose left. Gentlemen, if you don't get a rose... I'm sorry. Say your goodbyes. Say your goodbyes. You will <laughs> you will not be on the cover of People magazine. Right. <laughs> Chris uh, Harrison, say your goodbyes. Yeah. <laughs> you will he not did be on the see. cover. He, oh, did say he must have gotten a payout. Oh, you boy. Know oh did. yeah. He just got and you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna come unglued. He's gonna start golfing <laughs> and drinking with OJ Simpson, and uh-huh. the two of them are gonna be running around doing their own podcast about <laughs> racism and murdering people. The poor guy just lost it all. <laughs> he yeah. lost it all. He should have kept his mouth shut. He really should. I mean, I guess, you know, hey, maybe that's the way people found out how he feels. But mm-hmm. you know, when you're the host you of a show of- like that. You just, the only thing, you only have one rule. There's the one thing for you to do. Just do the show. Yeah. That's it. What are you do? What are you yapping about? Yeah, don't No one wants out. to hear your opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. You haven't given your opinion on any other episode <laughs> of The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Why did you start then? <laughs> Got Some comfortable. podcast. Got dude. comfortable. Okay, ready? Uh, yes. Food, life, relationships, entertainment. Okay. Is it my turn to it's choose? It's your turn to choose. Uh, let's go back to food. Okay. Uh, Bobby Flay. Bobby Flay. Ah! Uh, I think a little overrated. I think way overrated. Yeah. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> Is it just me or does ever does Bobby he has, actually has some good recipes, but yeah, I think he's just very arrogant. Good recipes. <laughs> recipes just he's recipes. A chef. <laughs> he's a chef. Can't you just find recipes? <laughs> Yes, basically. I mean, yes, like, yeah, kind of like music. Eventually, mm-hmm. all the notes are played together in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> right. Who cares about recipes? <laughs> Bobby Flay makes me angry. You want to know why? Why? He's always got to win that damn show. Bobby Flay be- meets the world, or whatever it is. He's always mm-hmm. got to win it. It's always got to be on his terms. Mm-hmm. Always got to. He gets upset. He, I, I don't know. Like it's like just he's like a this big attitude. Ego. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mad at Bobby Flay. <laughs> Now, Guy Fieri, there's uh, there's a guy you can love trust. Love him, love him. <laughs> I think he gets too much shit. Actually, he does. The poor guy. He's a great guy, though. He's really uh, he gives a lot back to the community. Yeah, I've heard he that. Does, I've heard yeah. that. I don't know him personally, mm. but what I do know is when I went down to Florida, diners, drive-ins, and diners, and drive-ins, and dives. Diners. Today, I'm taking you to a place <laughs> where they throw slop on slop, <laughs> and I'm going to tell you the recipe before the chef has an opportunity to. <laughs> That's the only thing that I hate. Is it like like the chef's making something? Yeah. And he's like, you take three three sticks of butter. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. And then you mix it. Four cloves of mint. Yeah, okay, four cloves of mint. And then you stir it around. It's like Bobby. I mean, guy, let him say it. Poor guy. This is his moment in the sun. But when Guy Fieri rolls into town and comes to your restaurant, yeah. you can be sure as shit you're going to have some jingle jangle coming your way. Absolutely. Because Guy Fieri is going to touch you people, with his magic mountain oh, yeah. of hair. People follow him and want to go to the places he goes. When that convertible comes rolling in with that... <laughs> that convertible. When that con- cherry red convertible comes rolling into town, he's spreading leprechaun gold all out the back. <laughs> 
<laughs> today I'm hair. going to uh, today I'm going to Duke of Cary, New Mexico. <laughs> The home of the three pop slop. <laughs> three different kinds of pig on a bread with gravy and mustard. <laughs> People in this town love it. Here's Chef Brian O'Flay. <laughs> Brian O'Flay, tell us what you're making. <laughs> well, first you chop up the pig. <laughs> That's right. I guess you should say it. <laughs> oh, God. Let him talk, guy. Let him talk. I like you, but you gotta let them talk. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I went to Naples, Florida, and there's Guy yeah. Fieri's Great American, you know, Redhead Restaurant or whatever. Oh, it is. Whatever He's it got is. His own restaurant. He has his own restaurant chain. He opened one in Times Square. It closed like three months later. Yeah, he opened that's a, a number. tough market. He opened one in Naples, Florida. <laughs> okay. It's like Naples, Florida does not seem like the type of place. If you've been to Naples, Florida, of course, it's like two million been, yeah. dollars to buy a right. <laughs> Fucking border yeah, potty there, right? It doesn't seem like there's a diamond no, drive But there was. Dive. And so anyway, we were went to this little, you know, strip shopping, very nice strip shopping center yes. where this was. At least that's what the sign said. So when we get there, it's got like <laughs> guy's head on the door, you know, and in, stuck in the mouth. It says, sorry, folks, we're closed. <laughs> I think that made it three That's months, That's like the too. Wahlbergs that have those burger places. Oh, God, and those burgers why? are awful. I don't know. Oh, I, why? I don't know. Maybe they like burgers. Who knows? But I, they were... I mean, everybody likes a burger, but come on. Yeah. Wahlberg I don't know. Brothers. I couldn't deal with the Wahlbergs. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't deal with that burger show. One anyway. of, well, I mean, there's the super successful one and then the other ones that are... Shake Shack? You know, they're just trying to pull, pull yeah. up the, finance, <laughs> the finances <laughs> yeah. of the other ones. There's the one in Boston <laughs> right. where the Wahlbergs are like saints, <laughs> right? right? Yes. And then there's the ones in Tuscaloosa, Alabama that didn't do so hard. Yeah. yeah. Northerners. <laughs> Yankees. I ain't eating none of those Yankee burgers, I'll tell you what. Yeah. I like my Wahlberg with a side of nothing. <laughs> I'm going to go get me some McDonald's ice cream. McDonald's no, ice cream. So- <laughs> Sorry, Sherrod ice cream. <laughs> I was going to say, no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. Okay, ready? You said food. Yes. I said uh, Bobby Flay. Okay, I'm going to go back. Since you're not going to go there, I'll go with uh, relationships. Okay. Monogamy. Yeah, I think that's spot on. I think it's spot on. Yeah. Yeah, I Each like monogamy. Their own. I like my monogamy vanilla. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. Right, that is my thing. But too. I do know some other people yes, in my do. life. We, we do. do. Yes, yeah. we know. Actually, I think we know more than a few people. Okay, <laughs> who choose not to have that? That no. word doesn't play into their role. Well, polyamorous. Now, I think polyamorous sometimes is a French word for my marriage isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> That's just my opinion. It's too expensive to get divorced. Just, yeah, so can't afford the divorce. Let's, uh, let's try this. Sleeping with your cousin. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. And each to their own on that, but I think 100%. it's spot on. I like it. I do too. I like monogamy. I do too. It's trust, trustful. Call me back in five years. We'll see what <laughs> <Yeah>. happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, entertainment, food, or life. Uh-huh. I'll go or entertainment. Sex. Or sex. Okay. You sex. still want to sex? Sure, okay, let's sure. do sex. Uh, foreplay. Oh, yeah. Totally spot on. I think it's underrated. Underrated. I think it's I, I would go underrated. towards the underrated. Yeah. I think it's 100% underrated. I don't think you needed that at all. What? What? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Underrated? No, 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 no. I'm kidding. Obviously, no. everyone everyone says you need foreplay, right? Yeah. Foreplay is the thing. Foreplay's you need fun. foreplay. Foreplay is fun. Foreplay I like fun. the foreplay. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I'm into it. And mm-hmm. uh, for me, foreplay is a good episode of 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> Oh, poor Astrid. <laughs> oh, Lord. I like to watch 90 Day Fiance. Uh, why don't you watch Why mood. don't you watch 56 Shades of Grey one more time? So. Listen, you know how many nights I've walked out of this studio <laughs> and the USA version, like the USA Network version of 50 Shades of Grey is playing in the bedroom? <laughs> and Astrid's got the covers like up to her eyeballs. <laughs> and I'm like, didn't we watch this one? <laughs> Don't you have to record some more? Oh, yeah. no <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, I'll be in there. No way. That's Astrid's foreplay. <laughs> uh-huh. Astrid's foreplay is her watching Fifty Shades yes, of Grey. Yes. Yes. Uh, relationships, entertainment, food, or life? I'll go life. Uh, Instagram. 
Oh, I'm, I'm answering again. I always answer first. Okay, okay I'll answer. Okay. You want me to answer first? Yes, go I think first. I think Instagram is a little bit overrated. Yeah. That's I do my too. personal opinion. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm no Instagram star, and if I had 16 million people, you know, liking every post that I made, then maybe I'd feel a little bit different yeah. about it. Maybe I feel inadequate on Instagram, and maybe that's why I feel like it's a little bit yeah. overrated. overrated. But here's what I sense it's on It's good for businesses, actually. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know about all. I mean, I don't know about all that. You know, make a million dollars on Instagram and all that shit. I don't know because that's no, not. No, but the, it's a way to promote yourself. Promote your it business. is a way to promote yourself. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, it hasn't I, worked out great for the commercial I break. Know, I am not somebody that needs to p- photograph their uh, lunch entire and life. Send no, it no, out. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I like to keep but I know a little a, private. I know a number of people who are very successful, very popular yeah. on Instagram, uh-huh. and I'm sure that they feel the exact opposite that I do. Yeah, they love it. But for me, right, I think the influencer culture just feels a little much to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about people who are trying to, you know, get, you know, promote their business. I'm talking about people who are, you know, taking pictures in their backyards and saying that they're in, you know, isn't there a show exotic location? There is. It's called Fake Famous. Yeah, Fake Famous. Fake Famous. We've talked about this on Fireside before, actually. Fake Famous. On Fireside before. Yeah, on Fireside. (laughs) (laughs) And (laughs) and on Fake Famous, just to reiterate, Fake Famous is actually a documentary, a influence influencer manager, a person who manages influencers, mm-hmm. it plays a social experiment, and he says, I can make anybody famous on Instagram, mm-hmm. right? Fake famous on Instagram, but famous to where nobody else would be able to tell. Right. Takes three relatively unknown Instagrammers, less than 5,000 followers, and instantaneously starts buying them followers, comments, and likes. Oh, the buying of the buying follow- of the followers, followers. Okay. and then he puts them in what what uh, are pictured as exotic locations. They're actually like right. a backyard, yeah. a fireplace, that's what the I think closet. It's all the preview. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's, the roof of someone's house. It's all fake. It's all fake. Yeah. Everything. None of it is real. And mm-hmm. two of the guys bow out. They're mm-hmm. like, "I don't like this. I'm not into it." You know, I'd rather have one guy is just totally. Um, he just shuts down altogether. He's okay. uh, someone calls him out. One of his friends says, "I know that you're that this didn't happen overnight. Like, what's going on with you?" Right. right. The other guy <laughs> says, "I'd rather a hundred real followers than a hundred thousand fake ones." Mm-hmm. But the girl who goes through the experiment decides to roll with it for the three months, and she actually becomes an Instagram star. influencer, star. a star because of okay. because the fake followers made it appear that she was a real influencer. Right. Yes. Right. But if it's that easily manipulated, then what is, I mean, I I think we all, I think you have to be living under a fucking rock to not understand how Instagram and Facebook work. But, you know, for me, it's just, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, uh, go to Instagram at the commercial break and follow (laughs) us and maybe I'll feel different about it. (laughs) What is crazy to me about Instagram and about all these media modalities is that sometimes they don't bleed over, right? Mm -hmm. It's like you can have a lot of people listening to the commercial break, but absolutely no one following us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I have guys that I work with who are have millions and millions of followers on social media and they have nobody listening to their podcast. Right. It's like, it just seems yeah. strange to me <laughs> that that doesn't transcribe in any way, shape or form. You'd think it would, <laughs> that if people were interested, maybe people, maybe we're just not interesting enough people maybe and maybe we're too it. old. Maybe we're not in the demographic. Yeah, maybe, yeah, that's maybe it. it's, you know, when you get to my <laughs> age, when you get to 32, yeah. maybe people just don't <laughs> like you anymore. <laughs> Okay, ready? Life, relationships, entertainment, sex, or food. Okay, life. Life. Okay, with life, uh, we just did a life, but we'll do oh, another. We did? We'll do another life. Uh, that camping. was Instagram. Life was Instagram. Life was Instagram. Oh, okay, got it. Camping. We'll do. We can do entertainment. Camping. Oh, Overrated. Overrated. <laughs> it sounds good. If I don't have an air conditioner unit and room service, yeah. It's I'm not going. And a shower. I don't like it. A I don't like it one bit. I mean, I could go maybe two to two. Not I am a spoiled whoa. brat. Yeah, it's some people really love it. The people love it. Those people are crazy in the head. Yeah, yeah they have, it's uh, a whole yeah. other story when you're out there in the woods. I feel like people you forgot who, your insect rebellion. <laughs> they're like real people, and like, you have yeah. to pee. I know. I mean, like my my version of camping is a three day music festival where I can just kind of drink my way through the three days <laughs> and not have to deal with any of the camping shit. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. if I don't have to. Memphis doesn't even have camping. Yeah. Memphis. Memphis. We don't have camping. Memphis. You're too old for this shit. (laughs) Memphis. Bail not provided. (laughs) Memphis. Your cheap ass didn't get VIP tickets. (laughs) So 
so fuck you. <laughs> okay. Uh, life, relationships, entertainment, sex, or food. I am going to take one from the entertainment category. Joe Rogan. Oh, oh I'm going for the king. Yeah, no, overrated. Overrated. I don't care for him, honestly. Overrated. Mm. Here's I've what listened, I th- I've listened to him quite a few times. Oh god, I listen to Joe yeah. a lot, and I still listen. His to His guests are questionable sometimes. Is why I've, I'm going on the overrated side. I think Joe. Here's what I think. Okay. I think why Joe is so attractive to so many people is he uh, like the new Howard Stern kind of. I think Howard and Joe don't even play in the same no, arena. I okay. think that's not a fair comparison. Okay. I, I think it's apples and oranges. Howard focuses on entertainment mm-hmm. and comedy. Right. Yep. And Joe focuses on it's sometimes entertainment, sometimes comedy. But what he tends to focus on is like weird kind of a theor- like theories. Right. Oh, I, he's, I, he's, he's gone that down that road. Well, he's always been going down that road. Oh, okay. He's always been an explorer. Stand up comedy. Though. Yeah. Rachel and I went to a stand up comedy and it was funny. Yeah, listen, the guy's a funny guy, uh-huh. but he, I... He's kind of gone in another direction. Sometimes he does. It's hard to tell. That's the thing about Joe Rogan. I think yeah. he really cultivated this. I am a seeker of truth. I am an open-minded guy. Mm-hmm. I am a logical thinker. I will hear all sides of the story, and then I will make a decision. And I think of all, almost everybody, especially men, who are tend to be sometimes logical thinkers, I think... Sometimes. Th- sometimes. <laughs> I don't mean we get it right. <laughs> I mean we like to think we're logical at least, thinkers. At least you just said sometimes. Yes. <clears throat> oh my god. Uh, I think that's why he's. I think that's why so many guys like Joe Rogan okay. is because they like to think of themselves as the exact same thing. He like is. I'm a logical, pragmatic right. seeker pragmatic. of truth. <laughs> I'm a passionate pragmatist. <laughs> pragmatic. <laughs> pragmatic. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why Joe is so popular. Got it. Right? Yeah. I think that opened the door, especially as the political environment got crazy. I think that opened the door for a few of the Looney Tunes to come in in the, in an effort to seek truth. What he <laughs> what he ended up doing was giving a big megaphone to some real fucking clueless people. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but I think that that in general, you know, mm-hmm. overrated. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. But you know. That's coming from a guy who's been podcasting for many years. I mean, expert level. Expert level podcaster. Yeah. Millions and millions of listeners in my mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> getting paid hundreds of dollars on a yearly basis. Yeah. This comes from you a guy know, I mean, who you know. knows. Yeah. I know I'm, a, I'm a logical thinker. You are. I'm a passionate pragmatist. <laughs> son. I'm a father. I'm a father. <laughs> father. <laughs> Sex, life, relationships, food, uh, let's or see. entertainment. Sex. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Oral sex. Oral sex. Oh, spot on. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if there was a cat, if we were playing underwhelmed, overwhelmed, then we could put ourselves in Astrid's shoes and say underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play underwhelmed, overwhelmed. Yeah, I think spot on. Spot on. Good I think stuff. it has a place in yeah. sex history, it right? Does. Oral oh, sex yeah. is one of those things that if you. It's been going on for so long too. There's, I love the Egyptian tombs that they find. Yeah, the Kama like Sutra all the pictures. Of yeah, the different. Yeah, I re- <laughs> yeah, I uh, it's been going on for so long. <laughs> it's been going on for so long <laughs> for generations yeah. and generations. People have been giving each other head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Today, this documentary takes a look <laughs> at head through the ages. <laughs> oral sex. Yeah. Oral sex and oral history. <laughs> oral sex. Oh. That's good. I'm with you. I think the any credit it gets, it deserves. Yes. That's my personal opinion. I'm going to go with relationships. Breaking up. Breaking up. Like, Breaking how up. could it go overrated, here's, underrated, or average? Here's, well, here's it my is what it is. Right? Everyone says that breaking up is so hard. Hard to do. So it tough. is hard. Ba, 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 ba. It's ba, hard. Ba, ba, ba. If you're the breaker-upper. If you're the breaker-upper, it's actually hard. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> getting, dumped, getting dumped is easy. Take it from a guy who knows. <laughs> <laughs> getting dumped is the easy part. I'm like, well. <laughs> no, it's bad on both parts. Can't for believe it lasted reasons. two days. <laughs> yeah, for different yeah. reasons. Yeah. I think breaking up gets a bad rap. I think a lot of times you need to do it. Well, right? it does. And in the long run, and it's so cliche to say, but 
you know, you dodged a bullet. In the long run, you'll never be the same. (laughs) You'll never find anyone else. Unless, like I'm reading Stevie Nicks' biography right Mm. now, and I – Seems like her and Lindsay Buckingham really still have this love for each other. So I, don't, you know, well, that I mean, stung that's, for a long time. <laughs> well, they made the, one of the greatest right. albums ever because <laughs> exactly. of it. I have to say that breakup was a win for the rest of us. <laughs> that's true. You know what I'm saying? I think I do know what you're saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because the way it came out of my head. I do. I'll confirm. What you're saying. You confirm what I'm saying. Uh-huh. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Never trust a guy that says, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. Get you some of this. Get you some of this. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, yeah, I think that break, I think breakups. They're hard on both parties. They're hard on both parties. I think oftentimes they're needed. Unless you're just a dick. (laughs) Yeah, I'm a dick. I'll say it. I'll I'll go with that. I'll roll with that one. Are you saying I'm a dick or are you just saying unless you're a dick? No, I'm saying like unless the person in general has no feelings. I got you. You know what I mean? Has no feelings. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm still a dick. You know what I mean? (laughs) Get you some of this. I'm not. (laughs) I'm a big baby. I'm a big baby. Uh, Okay. I'm going to go with food. Escargot. Ooh, overrated. Overrated. Yeah. Mm. So here's the story. Astrid and I, when we were dating, I... I flew over to, she was schooling in Switzerland. So I flew over to Switzerland and then we took a train down to Paris to spend yes. a week, which was quite frankly, one of propo- the most, is that when you proposed? Uh, yes. Yes. That was oh, one of the so most romantic, wonderful yeah. journeys of our relationship. Mm-hmm. Now we're lucky if we get out of Atlanta. Right. With those <laughs> no, kids. It's gone. What's wrong with those kids? <laughs> yeah. That, is, like we're that going was to my, the high point. We're going no. to my dad's house for the weekend <laughs> and I'm packing the entire household. <laughs> That's it. I need a trailer to go somewhere for two days. So uh, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it really is. It's a problem. Yeah. Okay. So Astrid and I go to Paris. Yes. Right. And we, I get a, Reservation at Chateau La Fleur whatever that is, the, fuck, <laughs> the place up at the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yes. But I cannot afford to go there for dinner, right? Because it's All like a thousand dollars a plate. Sure. I can only afford to go there for lunch, which is like five hundred dollars a plate. <laughs> and even then, they won't let you split the plate, even though it's a seventeen course meal. And who needs that in the middle of the afternoon? But you are sitting on it's top the of the Eiffel Tower. Yes. It's the. It's all about the experience, mm-hmm. right? Well, four of the dishes include snails. It's like they just like put escargot everywhere. It was really quite gross. Uh-huh. But when you're paying however much you're paying per plate, you eat the fucking escargot. That's right. what you do. You have the Garlic escargot. Garlic butter. Ah. Yeah. And here's the thing about that place. You got to pay before you go and there's no cancellation policy. You know that? Really? It's yeah. crazy. It's like sh- whatever it is. Chateau Le Chacha or whatever. <laughs> 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 we did, however, we're overlooking the Le Congrès, which is the street oh. into the Congress. And it was just so gorgeous. Picture mm-hmm. perfect. I I wish the food had been good because I would have eaten it, but I just had to swallow some Jeff snails and I had a the better time. experience overlooking the Colosseum <laughs> in Rome. We had this amazing dinner at the Oh, I thought you were there. talking about the Colosseum in Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, I was watching Three Doors Down in the Colosseum in Johnson City, Tennessee. <laughs> Woo. I want to kiss you like that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh-huh. By the way, the band 33 oh. Willie will make an appearance on the commercial break. The band yes. 33 Willie is, of course, the band uh, that was this close to rock stardom. I, I mean, mean, we almost very changed. Cl- you were around. You were, you came up at the same time as Pearl Jam. I can ima- yeah, you- <laughs> yeah, we were at Pearl Jam and, and 33 Willie were neck and neck. Right. You know, Eddie was 24. I was 15 at the time. Mm. But most people likened my voice to like <laughs> a mix of Eddie Vedder, Pavarotti. The guy from Bush, Tori Amos. <laughs> oh, it was it was that flavor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That throaty, scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You were so close, Brian. So wow. close. I can only imagine the people at Rolling Stone had typed up the article. There's and were still ready time. To, there's still time. You can you... send out those demos. <laughs> <laughs> so over the weekend, one of the old band members... <laughs> What are the, hey, thanks for that. I like the laugh track. <laughs> Me too. I forgot to turn off the laugh track. That's okay. Keep it coming. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first interaction this podcast has ever had. <laughs> oh. 
So I, uh, one of the band members over the weekend says, I heard the podcast. Yeah. I have the demo from the oh party that you played at the retirement home. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe that wasn't your big break either, <laughs> right? At the retirement I have hour. heard the demo and I can now believe that this wasn't our big break because it was so bad. I thought to myself, this is going to be funny. We'll play some of it right. on air. You know, Brian is always, we're always poking fun at yeah, other people. You know, what, yeah. what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Yeah. I'm not even sure this warrants. <laughs> I think it's we that need, bad? I think we need a 1-900 number where people pay to listen <laughs> to it. So I can so I can go to therapy later on down the road because it is bad. It is oh, so bad. Well, okay. And of course, try. I have to play it because that's just who I am. Yep. And that's just what I'll do. Mm-hmm. OK, a couple more here. Let's not get too crazy. We're uh, mm. we're way off track. <laughs> <laughs> As always, life, food, sex, relationships, entertainment. OK, it's all you. I can't remember what all I've done. Uh, life. OK, in life, we have. Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer. Is that a show? No, it's a thing. That, all, that everyone, a thing. It's a thing all the girls are Wasn't saying. Wasn't that last summer? No, it's this summer. Oh, I thought it was Hot Vax Summer this summer. Oh. <laughs> this is Hot Ass Summer. I'm not but Megan Thee Stallion, right? Like, started it. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, but now so. you got all the girls on Instagram are all Hot Girl Summer. Hot Girl Summer? Yeah, go for it, girl. Go for it. Yeah, I'm saying You're not going to look yeah, that way not? forever, yeah. so <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Get it while I'm gonna you go can. for a hot dad summer. Yeah, <laughs> hot, da- ha- hot dad bod summer. <laughs> dad bod summer. Uh, okay, let's do let's do one more. Okay, All right, I'm gonna go for a controversial one here on Fireside. Ooh. I'm gonna put a take it from the life category, and I'm gonna say Clubhouse. Ooh, overrated. Overrated. Yeah. You know, that place has turned into a cesspool of like weird conspiracy theories. Yeah, it's really kind of crazy. No, I actually haven't been turn. on it in a long yeah. time. I just go on there to hate listen. <laughs> <laughs> like people hate listen to the podcast. I go on there to hate listen. Uh huh. So much rather Fireside. Just gonna throw that yep. out there. And I'm not saying that because just because I'm on Fireside. I'm saying that because I like Fireside. It's yeah, for sure. Okay. Hey, I like that game. And we got like 40 more left. So let's play it again on a different episode. We will. For sure. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I do love the sending music. So good. Mm-hmm. And to think that it's just like some random musicians that are actually putting this great music together yeah. and then selling it for a dollar ninety nine during the commercial break. <laughs> I know. I would have happily paid more. Yeah. You know. Like those session musicians yeah. that were part of the, um, you know, like Canyon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what was the name? There was a documentary about that recently. I love that. Somebody was asking me, they were like, well, do session musicians, do they make any money? And I'm like, no, they get paid for the day. That's yeah. what happens. They get paid for the day and that's it. They're like, mm-hmm. they don't get like like songwriter credits. And I'm like, fuck no. no. You come in to play for like a heavy hitter that's written a song. You're getting $1,000 for the day. Yep. And then if you're lucky, they'll take you out on tour. And that's yep. how you'll make a little extra money. Yeah. But you're never getting any recording rights. You don't have any no. music rights. No. Because we were talking about a friend of mine. One of the guys from 33 Willie became a session musician. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, and when he became a session musician, he was asking, hey, do you think that guy makes any money? Yeah. And I'm off the music that he's written. Because he's got like gold albums. And I'm, I said, I'm, I think he's lucky he got the gold album, quite right. frankly. I don't think the guy makes any, any kind of money. It's like, We're the, com- like, the, it's like the commercial break. We're like the session, We're like the musician, session musicians, musicians of podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's okay. We're getting yeah, there. We are. We are. We just completed 100. So again, yeah. once again. We, we've got the content. Yes. We've got the audience. We may not yeah. have the Instagram. We've got the audience. We We're just need the money. Yeah. yeah, we just need the money. Part. We just need Spotify to come in and... <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Fireside. Fallon, are you listening? <laughs> Fallon, are you listening? <laughs> okay, here's what I want you to go to www.tcbpodcast.com to read more about Chrissy and I. You can check out all the show notes, watch all the video, listen to all the audio, and you can connect with us on Instagram and YouTube, youtube.com slash the commercial break. If you'd like to leave us a message, a text message, or a voicemail, Leave us a message about anything. You want to hear something, you have a show idea, you got a game idea, whatever it is, do this. Text us or leave us a voicemail at 661 best to you. That's 661 B E S T the number 2 Y O U. And we do know that it's too many letters. We do know it's Yeah, too we many. do realize yeah. it's too many letters. You but you'll leave get off. it. Just, it's yeah, actually best to yo. One. It's best to yo. <laughs> yo. Best to yo. <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, that's uh, 21 Jump Street. <laughs> also, uh, horribly no. stereotyping black people in every single episode. Is they're always drug dealers with Uzis and oh, Pumas. God. It's awful. Yeah. It's awful. Like 21 yeah. Jump Street was so awful. Yeah. But I mean, I do have to say this. I ran around the house for three years <laughs> wanting to be wanting Johnny to be in Johnny on Jump Street, <laughs> like planting fake like baking powder on my brother and be like, you busted, man. You got an F on your test and you're high on cocaine. But don't worry, you're not going to go to jail. We're just going to give you a good talking to yeah. you. Go back to your parents. That's what happens yeah. on every episode oh, of 21 really? Jump Street. Too. It was just like a scare. Oh, yeah. They didn't go scare. to jail. No. The big, the, the big guy went to jail, right? The big guy was always an adult. Like, the meditator? You know, yeah, the meditator. <laughs> Meditation? <laughs> wonk, wonk, wonk. How uncool, bro. Radical. Uh, and what else? 661 Best to You. That's where you can leave us a message. And check us out on Fireside Chat. Download the yeah. application on the iOS App Store. It is a great time. And Chrissy, Chrissy and I are here once a week. Check yeah. out our Instagram or follow us on Fireside. Brian Green or Chrissy Bransford. And we want to remind you one more time, we've partnered with CastBox to go to MemphoFest 2021. We've been invited to come and have some fun over at MemphoFest, so get your tickets. We had an in. in. We had an in. <laughs> MemphoFest.com. And if you're going to be there, drop us a message and let us know. There's a couple of people who are meeting us there, and I'm super oh. excited about it. So if you're nice. in the area, if you're so inclined, it'll probably be the last concert that actually takes place before <laughs> the whole shit gets shut down yeah. again. Get vaccinated. Hot Vax Summer. That's all I got to say. And I love you. I love you. And until next time, Chrissy and I must bid you adieu and we say Bye. bye. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18 month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Not all bread is created equal. And if you like your soft, fluffy, moist, and delicious, then Hero Bread and Buns should be your first choice. But Hero Bread isn't just about taste and texture. It's high in fiber with ultra-low net carbs with zero grams of sugar. Order today at Hero.co and use the code AH10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's AH10 at Hero.co, H-E-R-O dot C-O, for 10% off your first purchase. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSU FCU. That's MSU FCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. The commercial break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at youtube.com slash the commercial break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at The Commercial Break on Instagram. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Hoadley, with additional content provided by Tina Cano.
How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. We know her as Crooked Hillary. But to Nikki Haley, Hillary Clinton is her personal role model, the reason she ran for office. Here's Nikki in her own words. I often say that the reason I got into politics was because of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton is actually the reason, she is actually the reason that I made the jump. (laughs) So Haley raised taxes like Hillary, backs open borders and unlimited work visas like Hillary, did favors for Chinese companies like Hillary. Now the globalist Wall Street bankers who financed Hillary's campaigns are funding Haley's campaign. No wonder the liberal CEO of Wall Street's biggest bank says, If you're a very liberal Democrat, I urge you, you know, help Nikki Haley too. And just like Hillary Clinton, Nikki Haley shouldn't be president because she's wrong for America. Learn more at therealnikki.com. Paid for by Fight Writing, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. Fight Writing is responsible for the content of this ad. Fight-right.org. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings.